Alrighty, let's watch this in full first. There's no sounds. <laughs> I like how it kind of works as a loop. Comes in. Getting ready. Let's go. All right. Well, where are you? <laughs> well, actually, I faked you out. Anyway. So watching this, before I go into any animation detail, because it's already pretty cool. My main thing was that we linger on this a bit for too long. And by this, I mean just this empty area. Either I would speed him out. I mean, I understand you want to cut on him exiting, but it could also be where like that could be a moment of maybe there's a bit more I don't know if you want to add any 2D effects to it but maybe there's something of interest maybe through that power the foot sinks a bit it also feels like it's actually a bit in the, off the ground watch out I'm not sure but that could be something where maybe that foot goes lower and the pieces are breaking and that you got pieces falling here and break and smoke just for that but then you might potentially be able to cut sooner even on something like this and then the same thing on the creature here a we're very left heavy where there's a lot of empty space here like when, hmm, is something else going to happen versus framing like this where there's still an opening here and there's more room on the left and on the right because the creature is about to go to the left so that's probably where i would have a staging difference and again you're exiting resting on here we're wondering well, what's going to happen so for this you might even be like i said even here be able to cut sooner it's maybe not the best silhouette or frame there in terms of how this leg and just the anatomy of that but i'm just not super sure this almost feels like something's missing someone's going to land here it's going to be a title car um so i'm not sure other than that this is cool i think I understand that you want to tilt up for this reveal. There are a couple of things. As you come in, I think we are a bit too low. We're really, um, like in terms of framing, there's a lot of room here. It gets a bit uncomfortable there. Like this would be more comfortable from the get-go. I will personally do this. And then when the creature comes in, you still have this amount to tilt up. But I would start tilting once the creature's around here. I feel the camera's a bit too aware what's going to happen even though we just saw this but the thing is i would personally actually take this out and have it hidden like that you don't even see anything and once he's there then this comes in much with a much bigger surprise versus that here because we're looking at him and then this just happened we're starting to get a bit confused and i would just make this super clear watch out this is a bit light I know he's strong, but that move up and down on that hammer here, right there, it just feels, it makes this feel like paper. I'd be very careful with those moves. And I know, I know the guy's strong, but still. Not that it's a crazy thing. I wonder if you just want to keep that hand away from the thigh for clear silhouette. So it's always in this area. Not that it's a shot breaker, but it almost makes it, that silhouette makes him feel a bit casual. Versus there's something about this attention. Because he's always kind of ready. Because he's clearly looking for something. I think this is a bit much in terms of you break down there. That passing with this. A intersects a bit, but this gets more into a ballet pose. I think you can relax that foot a bit more. Because this, right through this section in real time, feels a bit fast. And just, I'm just reading that flash of a very straight leg pose. And probably in that breakdown, you can also just, or that in between here, you can have the uh, the leg just a bit further this way, relaxed foot, clear a gap. They don't have any tangents. Even on, on, on frames like this, it keeps it clean. The move is cool though. This seems like just the lens or translate. I'm not sure. I think it's okay. It gives him just the feeling of a massive cheat. 
And I'm not seeing a crazy camera move. Just make sure that the foot is planted here and on that move. It feels like everything is magically floating to the left. I don't know if that is part of the camera. This just feels like... Just keep this leg planted as long as you can. So then you can have a nice off-balance crossover. And then that leg comes back for another step. I think that might just be cleaner. That's cool. Same thing for here. Though. I would just bring this up for clean silhouette. Like some of these are a bit too overlappy. Might as well go since we have so much empty room. So I would clean that up a little bit. And I would just add some fake clouds or whatever you want to do. Or maybe this is part of like a longer, bigger, higher ruins. Whatever structure you have or something. So that we understand what is going on with the camera now. Because now we're having something on an empty surface or empty background. And it would be cool to just kind of get that feeling of what is that camera move actually doing. This also feels a bit like we're mushing two legs into one. And then you only got this guy coming out. I feel like it's really cut. So that's better. I would keep it clean. I like I like that you have a lean and there's asymmetry and all that. But I would still keep the silhouette as clean as you can. This really feels like it needs some 2D effects, some shockwave. I'm checking your mail. Um, I think it still needs to add a shot at the end and you will submit it separately. All right. I don't see anything um, in terms of your 2D plans, but this feels like and this would be really cool because you would have wave out towards camera. And then even this would have all stuff, little dusty bits and rock pieces moving. Then at the end could settle a bit with some extra smoke then going this way but then yeah like i said cut out sooner but it's cool it's a cool moment for sure here i think let me see this creature comes down and we could probably go on this we're already flat creature mouth open body flat and then coming back up you're almost the opposite. You're up and then down towards the end. But I think I would just do down up. Just so you see a bit more movement in there. And that's cool. Let me see here. That's cool. There's something, right? Let me see. I feel like, again, with this move, there's a bit of a pop there. So it's like we're countering. is a little bit stuck in 2D space through there. And then we suddenly have a big move over one frame being here visually but then on this frame then we don't continue that that big move arc over there if you're already moving this far that's your momentum initiation and you got to continue in that arc versus doing something like that because you have that one frame pop over then you go straight down into here and then here we're kind of locked in this so to me it feels like it could also be something where he actually, through all of this, lets it slip and then does the you know grip here, and it could be a he could be swinging it like that. That could be a moment. It also feels like we're hitting this pose in that arm, and it kind of stays put. There's something visually we get to this, and then it feels like a 2D card where it just translates forward. There's no more change in the pose. It feels like the budget you ran out of budget. There's no more money. <laughs> that's the last pose we, were, we could afford, and then that's it. This is a bit fast. I feel like if I play this 25% slower, just the creature only. It feels a bit better. This is normal speed, and it is for the weight and everything. I don't, to my liking, it's a bit fast. Also careful when you have things like this moving forward. Bam! Boom! It hits this wall. I would just overshoot a little bit. Soften that harsh move. But funny enough, I would find a way to... I like I liked this, the lean back that it's more stretched out. Maybe there's a way for you to get it closer. Only because I feel like this is a great moment for this piece actually be either down here or wherever, but something down here so that this, this is your silhouette and not this. 
it would be cool to see and there's no frame here like you get that the pointiness that is your silhouette it's a bit more aggressive with this here versus this just forms a blob through there Shot, they got some intersections there and this i'm not quite buying mechanics and physics wise how long it stays off the ground off balance with nothing supporting it i know it comes back down but the hole to me is a bit long on this one sorry even even though on this one though i guess it, this one could work and you are moving the leg forward it's not too shabby this is the one that i'm not quite buying here because you're going up and you almost expect another drop but then nothing happens although you do have a move down it's like you have initiated the move and nothing happens we just go back and hold this for a bit too long this for me you would need the leg down here you could experiment with this leg and this leg is up for silhouette or you could draw all kinds of stuff i don't want to dictate that but here i'm not quite buying the balance and that is that all right thanks all right there's an email you can sign up you can start whenever you want you can submit whenever you want you get 16 submissions either way a like and subscribe would be awesome all right thank you